please give a warm welcome to Boris Johnson. It was a keenly awaited speech in front of adoring fans who would love to see him lead their party and the country. Brexit was the focus and Theresa May's checkers plan for leaving the EU his main target. This is the moment. This is the moment to do that. And there is time. This is the moment to chuck checkers. Boris Johnson is now in open conflict with the Prime Minister. He wants a clean break, a free trade deal like Canada, and he indulged his audience with tough talk and vivid images of a UK facing away from Europe for global trade. If we get it wrong, if we bottle Brexit now, believe me, the people of this country will find it hard to forgive. If we get it wrong now and we proceed with this undemocratic solution, if you remain half in, half out, we will protract this toxic, tedious business that is frankly so off-putting to sensible middle-of-the-road people who want us to stop talking about Europe and get on with their domestic priorities. There's nothing new about the Conservatives bickering over Europe. They do it every year, but time is running out. This is the party that gave the British voter the referendum on leaving the EU, but it is still hopelessly divided on how to deliver it. And there's only six months left. I think Brexit really should be about moving away a clean break rather than a, a minor still with loops and ties to the institutions. Honestly, I think sensible Brexiteers, sensible Remainers feel like what he says is just complete nonsense half the time. What's got more splits than a banana? The Tory party! Theresa May speaks at conference on Wednesday and will defend her plan for a partial alignment with the EU's single market. Not many here like it, and EU negotiators say much of it won't work. She may struggle to get more than polite applause, although a leadership challenge is not on for now. Brexit negotiators in Brussels knew this week would be tough for May. They're looking forward to starting serious negotiations once again. But if they succeed in thrashing out some kind of deal, some of these people will have to vote for it. And persuading them to do that might be Theresa May's toughest challenge yet. Simon McGregor with TRT World, Birmingham. Country before party.